Sure, buddy. All right. Um, and I just wanted to, I don't know the Rick Berry's, my, or my, my uh, constituency, my members, my listeners don't know about uh, Rick Berry's Dolphin Project. Uh, could you tell me a little about it and why you're here? Yeah, Rick O'Berry is a man that worked on the show Flipper many years ago, and he worked with dolphins in captivity and brought us that entertainment, if you will, on network television for years. He then saw one of the dolphins die in his arms and uh, because they have a great deal of stress in captivity. He realized he'd been doing things the wrong way for years and wanted to uh, make up for that and do things the right way. He began releasing dolphins in captivity, uh, trying to get dolphins out of captivity, trying to rehabilitate dolphins and release them into the wild. And he most recently was part of the award-winning documentary, The Cove, where he was uh, showing about the dolphin slaughter that occurs in Japan every year. So. He's a hero of mine, a great champion for marine mammals, and uh, I'm proud to be his friend. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here. That's the embarrassing part. I'm so jet lagged. Where did you fly in from? Well, I was in Miami, uh, okay. but before that, I was in Denmark and the Faroes Islands and uh -huh. Germany, Singapore, Thailand, on and on. So you've been on. traveling all over like usual. Anywhere there are captive dolphins. If you have a dolphin, you have me. So. So bring us up to date on right now, what are some of the pressing issues, where are, the, are you targeting, zeroing in on to, uh, to do some good? Yeah. Well, when I leave here, I'm going to China because most of the dolphins that are exported from the cove go to China and we're, we want to do something about that. Uh, we were able to get Hong Kong Airlines to issue a statement saying that they will no longer So they won't fly them? No, but they did recently. They uh -huh. transported dolphins from the coast in Taiji to but, Vietnam. Mm -hmm. But uh, because They've of stopped. pressure, they backed off and promised right. not to do it anymore. That's progress. Where, yeah. where else are you making a little little dent in the system? The Solomon Islands, big yes, dent. Yes, I know about that. Yeah. We, uh, You've got to stop. Yeah, well, we we're, we're, it's not really, you know, it's not really about pressuring people or uh, bullying them or twisting their arm. It's really about s trying to find ways to work with them. People in the Solomon Islands simply want a job. I mean, they're desperate. They're poor. Yeah, so, you know, if they're looking for alternatives to killing dolphins, Earth Island will help them with that. And we were able to help them with it. So as long as they're working, they're happy, and they don't have to kill any dolphins. Exactly, yeah. So it's really, when we show up, you know, we don't show up like a bunch of cultural imperialists and tell them what they can eat and what they can't eat, right. and what to do and what not to do. No nation has the right to force their belief system on another sure. nation. It's really about listening and learning and looking for an opportunity to offer alternatives. So that's what we do wherever we go. And in, even in the Faroes Islands, um, my wife is there now, and she's Danish, and we're working, trying to find people who are interested in uh, alternatives to killing pilot whales.